Greetings fellow boat enthusiasts, today I'm installing Vesselview Mobile on my Mercury 115 Pro XS. Starting with the unboxing, we have installation instructions, mounting supplies, and the Vesselview device itself. I removed this interior component cover to give myself better access, but this is not necessary to complete the install. We start by removing this yellow terminator on the engine harness 10 pin connector. Depending on your engine model, this could be red or purple. By depressing the retaining latch, the terminator is easily removed. Next, we connect the 10 pin connector on the vessel view device to the engine harness 10 pin connector. Once fully engaged, you will hear a click. Lastly, we connect the yellow terminator removed earlier to the terminator harness on the vessel view device. By turning your key to the run position, you will see the vessel view device light up and you can see that Bluetooth pairing is now available. If you remove this cover, you can now reinstall it. This is where I decided to secure my device, but feel free to choose a spot that you are comfortable with. Be sure to stay clear of hot or moving parts. Finally, reinstall your engine cover. You can now go into the Google Play Store or App Store on your mobile device and download the Vesselview mobile app. Once installed, open the app and agree to the privacy policy and the location permissions. Log in or sign up via your preferred method. Once you are signed in, enter your first and last name. You are now at the Vessel View home screen. Press connect to connect the Vessel View device to your phone or other mobile device. Once connected, enter the number of engines that you have and your fuel tank capacity. I forgot to enter my boat name. Don't be like me. Next, follow the steps to enter your preferred dealer. On the home screen, by clicking on RPM, you can access additional engine data, such as RPMs, engine temperature, and battery voltage. Swipe to the right to add a new page and to see additional vessel view details. By clicking on the fuel icon, you can access total fuel, fuel used, distance to empty, and time to empty. By clicking on the MPH icon, you can access average speed and peak speed. Going back to the fuel icon and clicking on distance to empty and time to empty, you can access additional fuel data. Click on the three dashes at the top left of the screen to access the main menu. Here you can access fault information for observed faults and blocked faults. Maintenance information can be viewed under the Maintenance tab. Under the Performance tab, there is a whole shot game to test your acceleration. Here you can select 0 to 20 mph or 0 to 30 mph. There is also a leaderboard to track performance. Under the chart tab, you can access data for gallons per hour, miles per hour, and miles per gallon. At the bottom of the screen, the speedometer icon will take you home and the map icon will populate your current location. The plus button will allow you to capture a moment, add a catch, add a location, or add hazard information. The calendar icon will allow you to view event history and the check mark icon will bring up some useful checklists, including pre-departure, equipment, winterizing, and invasive species prevention. 
That about sums it up. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you enjoyed this content, consider leaving a like. If you would like to see more, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching A Boat With No Name.